Hey, good morning, everybody. I know you saw my, or if you haven't yet, I have been battling a sinus infection all week, and so my face has been super swollen and puffy, but it is starting to go away, so I'm gonna do a quick hack while it is cooperating and show you how easy it is. I am going to start with the Stay Spray, which is a setting spray, but is also used as a primer. So I'm actually, for the primer, I'm just gonna squirt it on my face. And I'm just going to kind of dab it in. If you hop on, say hey. Let me know how your week's been. Your weekend. It's supposed to be pretty today. And tomorrow, at least here. But then have some, some rains and some thunders coming in. Um, I'm going to let that dry for just a second. I went ahead and took the colors I'm going to be using today. And put them in two smaller compacts. Just so... Since I'm still learning the colors, I didn't have to take them out, flip them around, find out which one I was using. So, um, that's the good thing. And once you, if you catch the replay in the comments, just say hashtag replay. Feel free to ask me any questions. Um, I would love to color match you. I just need a natural light selfie, no makeup. It's usually best if you're indoors, but like looking at a window and then take the selfie and just shoot it over to me. Um, if I didn't mean to swipe it that way. All right, so while that is drying, I am going, see how I've got that redness? I'm gonna take this Aspen right here. And that's just a good color corrector. And I'm gonna take the small end of the powder, actually I think it's the um, blush brush, sorry. And I'm just gonna Kind of lightly tap over that red and i'm on some steroids for that sinus infection so that makes my red even a little more ready does that make sense <laughs> but you know i don't have words this early in the morning but just a little bitty sweep nothing crazy okay all right, so I am going to grab and use, oh, my detail brush finally came in. I'm so excited. Okay, but I'm gonna start off with my buff brush. They are um, kind of cone shaped at the top, angled, but high. So this one's the large end, this one's the small end. I wanted to try some different colors. So today I'm gonna use ash and I am, Sorry, I had a hair on my brush. I'm gonna take the small end and I'm gonna go into ash. Okay, so there is my cheekbone. And I'm gonna do it right on that cheekbone. Sometimes, or usually I used to do it right there, but I've learned the trick that if you do it here, it actually is an illusion that it pulls your eye up. If you do it here, it's actually pulling your eye down here. So you actually wanted to do it a little bit higher. Um, so I've got that ash on my brush. Find your bone. I need to get more than that. I was being way too gentle. Okay. Let's do the other side. You do not have to be anywhere. Hey, Mom. You don't have to be anywhere exact. Everything's just going to blend. We're gonna do it up here. We're gonna go where the shadows would normally hit. We're gonna try and keep our focus right there on your eyes and like right where the lights hit your face the most, okay? So that's kind of pulling us into there. I am going to do it on my jawbone, jawline. It's gonna help give us that more shaped face, but it's all optically done. Like, you're getting all the benefits of what most people consider hard with highlight and contour in an easy, really you can't mess it up, um, makeup application and you get the full results. So I'm gonna pull it down a little bit because that will have natural shadow too, so it's gonna thin our face. And you can already see, I mean, isn't that crazy? 
So I'm gonna take the same small, say hi, if you hop on, what's going on? Okay, so I'm gonna take the small end still. And I'm gonna go with white peach today for like my main uh, color. Some people call it a camo color, some people call it a main highlight color. And I'm just gonna go right there in between the two contours. Right there in between the two contours. Do it right there under my lip. Do it on my chin. I'm gonna do two kind of down my neck. I'm gonna do my eyelids. I do there. Now I'm gonna swap over to my, what I would call my brightening highlight. And I'm gonna use, um, I gotta scratch, linen today. And I'm still using the same thing. I'm not wiping it off in between. Like that's kind of the beauty of it too. All right, so I'm gonna go right up here. I'm gonna do like, I need a name for that. It's gotta look like some kind of flower. Maybe an iris. I'm not a gardener. I need somebody to help me. Um, and then we are gonna do it down our nose. Oh, I forgot to do the, I like to do the contour on my nose. So I'm gonna take my finger so I don't have to put the dart back on my brush and go into ash. And I'm gonna do that down the sides of my nose. Tulip, yes, thank you. I'm, Mama, it's not a chicken foot. We're going with tulip. That sounds a whole lot cuter. Um, and I'm gonna do it down my nose. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try this detail brush because that's, I kept seeing people do this under their eyes with the detail brush and I really, really liked the way it looked. So I'm going into linen. I know I swapped brushes, but it's because this just came in and I wanna try it. All right, so remember that's um, gentle skin. I'm just kind of sweeping. And I'm just doing like a, hey Caroline, doing a V, okay? And I did a little tap. And see, I've still got some of that little swelling right there, so I know what we're gonna do about that. Just ignore it and pretend like you don't see it. That's all I can tell you, I don't know. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Tiffany. Congratulations on your new additions. I mean, new forever additions, that's so exciting. Okay, so we look like a hot mess, which is exactly what we want. I know that sounds crazy, right? We want a hot mess. Okay, I think I've put it everywhere I want to. Do it right there, and I wanna do one right there. I love, thank you. I just got my detail brush in, and I have been dying to try it. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my buff brush just because I'm comfortable with it. I know I need to brush, I mean, branch out and try some other ones, but um, let's stick. Well, I don't know. Y'all want to try this one? This is the um, so this is one that came in the kit. Um, in the basic kit, you get two brushes, three compacts. I got 18 colors. And um, hey, Cassie, hey, Tara. Um, and so let's try that one. We're gonna blend with that one. Yes, we can do this with one brush, but I've also got access to these, so let's do it. All right, so we're, oh, yeah, I'll do that blush in a bit. So I like to start kind of buffing with the contour. And I'm just gonna kind of get all around. There is absolutely no previous makeup knowledge required. And you're gonna get a amazing 3d look without any effort or knowing really where to put the colors and you're gonna be amazed I don't know if you saw me share what one of my friends and customers sent me last night she's like I don't do makeup and I didn't even try and I just swiped some on and I was totally blown away <laughs> and her husband was like what have you done like what that looks great so I'm telling you Give it a shot. We're just blending it all together. I 
I didn't put an extra mirror up here today, so let me sneak to the side and look, make sure I'm blending everything. I'll step back so I'm still in the foam. But I was struggling with my, um, this thing, because I don't have the words, tripod. The little one that came with my ring light, it kept like closing up on me, and it was like really bothering me. So I put it on my big um, like camera tripod today, and it is so much better. Okay, did you see that? We looked crazy a minute ago, but we don't anymore. Isn't that just amazing? Like it totally blows me away. Okay, so those were, just recap real quick. I covered up the red with Aspen. I contoured with Ash today. I did, hey Jennifer, I did my main uh, like highlight with white peach and then I did my brightening highlight with linen. If you watched any of the other videos, those aren't always the colors I use. Aspen, yes, because I have the redness, but the colors are very blendable. They're very easy to use multiple colors on your face and still look great. They're just very easy. I will also tell you, um, once we're finished, I usually wait about five to 10 minutes to take my after picture. I wasn't in the beginning, but I have learned to wait about five to 10 minutes because your skin like adjusts to the colors and it is more, I don't have the word, somebody help me. It helps match your colors and it just like kind of blends into your skin. And it's, if you do take that after picture, like right when you're done, sometimes it's a little too bright or a little too bold, but that five to 10 minutes, your face warms up the makeup since it's a cream makeup and it just melts into your skin beautifully. It's just amazing. All right, so we're gonna go back to the blush and bronzer brush. And I have got, i push that in. So my, this is the palette we're gonna work from now. So this is a pearl illuminator. This is the Cayman bronzer and then lip and cheek. And then this is just a lip conditioner, just kind of like a clear gloss. It looks pink, but it doesn't really have a color to it, or at least it doesn't to me when I put it on. All right, so I'm gonna take the big fluffy brush and I'm gonna kind of pinch it just so it doesn't get in my other tins and do it in the bronzer. Oh, I do love it. But I've gotta figure, I've gotta practice a little more to do the whole application with it. All right, so I've got it in the bronzer and I'm just gonna do a little bit in my high, almost like my temples, okay? And just around the edges. And I will tell you, I was extremely scared at first when I heard that it was an all cream makeup because what in the world? How am I gonna keep cream on my face and not be oily all day and let it just like slide off? I don't know. It's amazing. Your face, it does take a little adjustment period for some people, but it's even good for oily skin. It's super amazing for maturing skin and for dry skin and combo skin. Um, but it's great for oily skin too. It will not slide off. The Stay Spray does an amazing job. And somewhere between five to eight-ish days, your skin does like this whole swap. And so it's used to like the powder makeups and the heavy makeups and the layers and all this kind of stuff. And then it's like, whoa, we got something new and light and airy and it's not cakey and it doesn't smudge and it doesn't, you know, move and it's not layered. So it's just pretty much your face, a couple colors swatched around it, blended together. Hey, Brooke. Um, so anyways, don't be afraid. There is a small adjustment period for some, or a belief period, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I did a little bit of bronzer. This is one of my favorites for the cheek. It's sandstone. And so kind of right there on the tip is where I'm going to put it. I'm just gonna lightly buff it in. And I wanna reiterate again, see how we did that, everything like up on our cheekbone versus below it and see how it's gonna actually pull our eye up. It's pretty neat.
I'm gonna take the small side of that buff brush that we had all the colors on and just kind of do it over my eyes. Okay. I'm gonna take this Pearl Illuminator. This one is a cream, but most of our illuminators are powders. Um, sorry, my hair wrap is a little wet, so I was getting a little bit of um, dampness on my finger. It is, it's like a second skin. It's so amazing. Thank you so much. I'm gonna take my ring finger because that's the finger that gives the less amount of pressure on your face. And I'm just kind of doing it back and forth in that. We're gonna do it right there up under our eye. We're gonna do it up here under our brow, and a little bit above our brow. Same on the other side. Do a little bit on that cupid's bow. Okay, and then let's go a little bit of lip conditioner on first. And I, I'm, my next to order is my eyeshadow brushes. So we can get some eyeshadow looks going a lot. I'm gonna grab a different lip than sandstone. Let's go. This one was pretty and it came the other day too. I think I showed it to you. It's that ruby. It's a little pink, but don't ever shy away because they always go on a little bit different on everybody. Um, so let's do it. And I might mix it with some sandstone so we're not like looking like we're going out on a, you know, a Sunday morning. But see, look. Okay, so that does not look. See how bright that looks in the tin? That does not go on so bright. That's so amazing. I love it. So that was the final look. This is falling, so I'm gonna take it down. Um, I would love to color match you. That's super easy, super fun, and obviously no pressure, but I would love for you to try it. We do have this um, vanilla dusting powder, and I'm just gonna kinda sweep it all over. It can be used also. Everything is multi-use. So it's a lip, it's a cheek. You can use those on your eyes. That's the other good thing I like about it too. And the last thing I'm, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that stay spray and squirt it on their perfecter. Super duper squishy. Thank you, Terrell. Hey, Emily. So I probably just sprayed too much. So I get a little carried away. So I'm gonna squeeze it kind of in my hands to smush it in. And this just helps get off any extra makeup that may be in there because that's the big thing you don't with any makeup you don't want any extra because that's what will settle into lines or look bulky and we're putting setting spray on at the same time so we're two for one in here super quick super easy throw and go in your purse one brush is really all you need, although it's fun to have all of them, but that's what I do. Um, so see? All right, so I am gonna wait about 10 minutes. I'm not gonna put on um, any eyeshadows or mascara right now just because of the sinus stuff I have going on, but I will take a finished picture in about 10 minutes just to let it melt and do its magic. And then reach out. I'd love to hear from you, answer any questions, anything like that. I hope you'll have a great weekend. Stay safe. Bye.